Took a little experimenting, but I figured out how to make it so you can see the hole. Uh, there you go. You can see. You see the hole through here. And we try it again. Yeah, come on, come on. There it is. Whoop, there. stuff out in the yard I was gonna bush hog my field I've got some stuff I got to do on my daughter's car that I just bought which we're still hopefully gonna to get to this weekend but I decided to tinker with the gremlin a little bit more try to get it running got some fuel pressure got the fuel pressure part fixed I, it was turned out to be the float and the carburetor was just damn wide open so it just kept going I've got the fuel pressure turned all the way down to three pounds but it still goes to seven when deadheading but the float was holding so I had all that going for me got her to run I had to sit there with the throttle I had to mess with the accelerator pump too I had to put a makeshift one from another carburetor kit that wasn't quite for this car but anyway here's the carburetor I wasn't going to do this whoop gas woohoo uh, wasn't going to work on this guy fly that's bothering me hear it it's driving me crazy anyway wasn't going to do this but decided to uh, because my other alternative was this. This is what I had in mind. Oop, golly. But this is what I had in mind. And what I didn't realize is somebody had broken the stud off in the top here. So I'm going to have to do surgery on this one. If I've got to do surgery, I'd rather do it on the one that I know works because that one's been sitting on the shelf for a while too. So we're going to work on the Gremlins original, well not the Gremlins, the Javelins, original carburetor, which I have another one if I need parts. Uh, the gasket doesn't look too bad. I'd probably come up with another one if I need to. To be real gentle, I'm going to try to save my gaskets, but I'm going to take this apart and see if we can't, it's just plugged up, everything's just gummed up. So I'm just going to kind of clean it all out and, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's get going. Well, I'm taking the top of this carburetor off. I thought I'd make a comment. The comment being, I see guys on other YouTube channels trying to get a car started, and they're throwing brake cleaner and carb clean and all sorts of crazy different stuff down the throat of the carburetor trying to get it to run. What? What? I don't get it. Starting fluid, hey, whew, works perfect every time. When the gremlin wouldn't fire, I thought I had fuel going because I could see that I put a gauge on it and I saw that the fuel was going into it. And I was pumping it, but I couldn't see any accelerator pump. So I threw a little bit of starting fluid in there. And guess what happened? <laughs> yep, boom, fired right up. Tells me that I had a fuel problem. So why do these guys throw everything but starting fluid? It is starting fluid, right? So I don't get it, guys. You know, I love your shows. I watch them all the time. But starting fluid, guys. <laughs> I don't get it. But, oh, gosh, what did I do here? I just put these in here, and I don't know. I must have been eating my Wheaties this morning or something. I mean, I literally just put these on a few minutes ago because I fixed the float, like I said, while it was on the car. I didn't air that, I apologize. But, you know, 
Anyway, so this, as you saw, had to take this piece off because, believe it or not, this is what's holding the back of the carburetor down. And then there's four screws, two, four. Just pull this little booger back here and bloop, 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 she comes off. Now she's still got the, uh, still got the choke attached over here. And I'm going to see which is the best way to get this off of here. There's a little, right back in here, you probably can't see, but right back in here there's a little C-clip. And we're going to pop that baby off there. Clip went flying a little bit, but we got her over here safe and sound. The gasket actually survived. It's really dry and not so pretty, but it's, it's good for the moment. Uh, let's see, we got the float working good, and oh, the float level is actually pretty darn good, I must admit. So we're going to leave that alone, but we're probably going to have to take it all apart anyway, simply because she's not sucking gas that away. So I'm going to run outside real quick, and I'm going to dump this fuel out of here and go from there. Get this float out, there's a little clippy thingy. A clippy thingy, that's a technical term by the way, but you have to unhook. It hooks to the needle valve doodah. Doodah is also a technical word. See it right here? See this little metal thingy? That hooks onto what this fits into. It's a little cylinder. I think I'm fixing to get rained on, so if it gets loud all of a sudden, you'll know why. All right, oh yeah, I can see in there. There's The jets are absolutely not nice. They're completely plugged. So let's go ahead and get down in there. I apologize for the noise. It's the Mother Nature kind of peeing down on me here. But I'm going to pull these out of here. They are really, really clogged. Man, oh man, really, The secret to this is using a screwdriver that fills the entire slot on the jet. Because if you don't, you run the risk of, of messing it up. Now, this particular screwdriver has a little doodah right here. Oops, but I need a 9 16 where I can put a little torquage on it. Oh, you can't see that. Hang on. This is what I was talking about. Got a little doodah up the top here so I can get a wrench on it and put some torque into it. And that's what's going to be necessary to get these out of here because they've been in there a day or two. So I'm going to put her in there, get her lined up real good because I'm going to put some torque to it. Dang it. It's not cooperating. There we go. Probably should have put this on here first. And then we're just going to. See if we can't. You know, a second set of hand would be great. There we go. Now she's caught the edge of the, the bench there. We should be able to put a little torque to it now. Problem is you got to try to be careful and uh, put juice to it. And... Yep, completely plugged. No air, no can't see no light through that bad boy. So we're gonna clean her up. There's another one right here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I've already put a. Uh, gasket from a wrong gasket but it worked in the accelerator pump because it was leaking I've already done that I already put the wrong gasket here but got that a working too Oop, ah, throw it on the floor see it's got a stress test oh passed but completely plugged not any air can get through that no no gas no nothing needs to have a hole in it folks and it doesn't so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna clean them up on a wire brush to get the, this all up and I'm gonna get a piece of wire and I'm gonna stick it through here 
I did have a wire. I couldn't find a piece of wire I normally use because my carburetor room is a mess because I haven't used it in years. But I found this carburetor spring. It's just the right size to stick in the hole. Just like that. And uh, so just kind of stick it in the hole, clean it all up. Now you can see through it. I don't know if I can get you all to see through it or not. Maybe if I get a light shining through it, maybe that'll work so you can see that there's a hole. A little experimenting, but I figured out how to make it so you can see the hole. Uh, there you go. You can see you can see the hole through here. Let me try it again. Yeah, come on, come on. There it is. Whoop, there. You can see the hole. That's what you're looking for. Want to make sure you can go all the way through this. We're going to go ahead and get the other one. I'm going to get my spring. And we're just going to. There we go. So now, I tried this just a few minutes ago and took a bath. So don't try this at, you know, until actually you know you have the hole. Take your little straw and you Okay. Then you know she's clean all the way through. Okay. Just like that. Now we know we're good. Then I'm gonna take the same thing. And I'm going to put it in the hole where they live. And try not to take a bath. See it coming out over here? I don't know if you can see that. See it coming out over here? That's how you know that it's going where it's supposed to go. This one is not yet. See this one? She's still... Still not doing what she's supposed to do. There we go. Okay, so now they're both coming out of where they're supposed to, so I know that <coughs> <coughs> breathing brake fluid and brake fluid. Great. Carb and choke cleaner, because we're cleaning a carb, right? Right stuff, the right job. So we know that those are working. We're not going to put them in quite just yet, because we still got a little bit to do over here. I apologize about the rain on the roof. I can't do anything about that. There are some really big screws on this carburetor. So see, this was probably the best idea. Putting that one on would have probably been okay. But in reality, uh, this is what was made for that engine and probably the best choice. Now, this piece doesn't look like much, but if you look, there's little holes all the way around this. So this is hollow, and it has to come out here. Okay, there's a check ball down in there. Well, it actually looks like there's a reed valve down in there too. So we're going to have to... Go we'll check all that. We're going to have to make sure all of that is clean. We're going to have to run some wire through all of it. Make sure every single orifice in this carburetor is functional. Yep, this one's working. I've now flipped her upside down and I'm going to take these four off of here very careful up oh, I gotta take these bleeders off too idle mixture screws we'll count the turns on those but let's do this first take this off 
so that way we can clean it. Like I said, I've already done this one. I did it while it was on the car trying to get her to run. But as you saw, those jets were so plugged, there's no way this carburetor was ever going to run. These, uh, these guys that do a lot of these will they run videos, and they just start up and run. I don't know. I don't have that kind of luck. Let's see. Okay, now we don't want to rip this, so we're going to be very, very careful here. There we go. Gasket's in good shape. We have a power valve here. Now, I don't know how good that bad boy is. It feels kind of not good. So let's pull that out of there and see what we got. She actually looks okay, except for the diaphragm part of it is all wrinkled and looks kind of cruddy. <clears throat> so let's see what we can come up with. I've got some Holly uh, power valves in the back, and if they're the same ish, we may be able to do that because this one's not looking too good. Ish. Definitely not good. It is gummed up, caked up, nasty. It looks rather. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but. It's rather nasty in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty bad. So, we're going to try to gently save this gasket. Oof, that baby's bad. We did it that's amazing I'm just gonna clean this while it's it's like rock hard varnish in there Wow that's downright not good Got that all cleaned out. I had to get a piece of wire and clean out those little jet holes. And as you can see, this one's boogered up, but this one looks very, very similar. But as you can tell, this one's considerably larger. Look at the size of those holes compared to those holes. But since the orifices that feed are only so big, I'm guessing it'll be all right. <coughs> Pardon me. Woo! Sneezage. And so here we go. Uh, gonna, I could probably try to clean this one up, but if you look, she's these little the diaphragm itself is kind of wrinkly, and I don't even know what size it is. It doesn't say, but this one's a 6.5, and uh, it's made for a 604 barrel. Now I'm guessing this is about a 402 barrel, but eh, eh, this should work. Now, last but not least, we're gonna make sure that these idle jets are are cleaned out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the turns as I take them off so I can put them right back where they are. So there's one full turn, two full turns, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. 
So eight full turns to get this needle valve out. Now we're going to squirt in here and see if they if it goes good. If it doesn't, then we got to clean her out. Nope, that one's good. So we're going to put it right back in. Eight full turns. Ready? Get it started. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to back it off just a tad because I had to get it started. So I'm going to back it off just a little bit. We'll adjust those later, but again, we'll go to the other side. So let's go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, same thing. Good. All right, eight full turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Haven't touched the choke at all. That seems to be working okay. Let's just double check it. Oh, yeah. Everything seems to be free and working properly on the choke. So... Let's keep back up to upside down here. Put my power valve back in. I'm going to be putting this one in. This one works just fine. So let's get my gasket. Now I do have other power valve gaskets if this one fails, but this one's not in bad shape. It's a little hard. Ooh. Might not be able to use this one. Yeah, it'd be alright. Slightly different. Now, hopefully, this will go back over because this one's a little bit different. So, I don't know. Oh, yep, it's going to work. Barely work. I mean, it barely goes over there. But it's good. Carburetors are not overly complicated. The biggest thing you got to worry about is just keeping your orifices clean. <laughs> that sounds a little sick, but that's really what it boils down to. There's a million little tiny holes everywhere, and those need to be clean or she can't breathe. If they're leaking externally, that's never a good sign. Don't over tighten your screws because the metal, top metal that carburetors are made out of is not the best, you know? All right. We're back to here. Everything is uh... all right. Just one little 
once more over. Let's put my jets back in. And where's my big screwdriver? Here we go. Make sure everything's clean when you put it back together. That's a biggie because one little piece of dirt, these little holes are so small that they can clog up with very little dirt. And that's why we put filters and all sorts of wonderful things like that. Now this valve, this power valve is completely different. But the way this carburetor is made, it's actually in there okay. We could, th theoretically, we could probably try to clean that up and see if we can get it to move. But yeah, it's darn right nasty. So we're not gonna. We got that other one from the, the Holly 600, and we're gonna make that one work. I don't know what all this out here is. We're just gonna make believe we don't see that. Now you don't have to torculate these jets very tight, to be honest with you. They're not going anywhere, folks. It's just kind of there. All right. I think that's a dangerous thing. We're ready to put her back together. Now, what you didn't see is this. This went inside of here. And it's, it's loose. You know, it works. Instead of a check ball, it has a check rod. So we're going to put it down in there. And again, the right screwdriver for the right job. Because boy, I'll tell you what, you can booger up a carburetor screw in. 1.7 seconds if you don't use the right tool you will just booger stuff up and you'll never get it to work again so okay so we got that back in there that's all working good we cleaned all that out and then i think all that's left folks is the float which again i already did this so we're uh, we're golden on that one and we're gonna stick that in there slides in there and then we're going to just push that little there we go here it snap you didn't i did but heard that snap in there snap into place check the gasket i don't see the gasket oh wait a minute oh, right here we are going to which way did it go did it go this way i'm thinking it went this way oh that's not good oh boy I don't know if you can see that, but the edges of the gasket have pulled in, and it's actually not sealing right here. So that's not going to work right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now I've got to go... God, yeah, it doesn't go that way. Well, I'll be. It only goes one way. So I'm going to have to go in the carburetor room and see if I can't conjure up a gasket so hang tight apologize for the background noise folks it's raining out this gasket was warped right here and it didn't seal so i'm gonna have to make one i started to make it already i used some of this gasket material and i've started making it i'm gonna let it overhang a little bit give me a little extra but i'm getting ready to trace it out so i can put the cover on and then get the holes precisely where I want them. So, with my exacto knife here.
Sorry about the noise, folks. It's raining like cats and dogs. You know how I know that? Because somebody just stepped in a poodle. Ha ha ha. Dad joke. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to put her back together for good. And put her back on the car and see if we can't get her fired up. Break out of your shell. Meet me halfway. doohickey right here. I don't know if you can see that. See that little square thing? It's supposed to be wedged in between here so that it kind of keeps this still. So I gotta take it back apart, make sure that's lined up. Moment of truth, let's put this thing on there. Hook her all up. Got a, a little exhaust doodah over here. We got to make sure we get lined up. And then we got a little line that goes here as well. And we don't want to. want to make sure we get all this stuff hooked up. Oops. I reckon I better put my glasses on. Can't see nothing. Let's see. Are we on there? I do believe we are. Of course, I don't have a half inch wrench ready. So let's fix that right now. Let's see if we can get this thing to go on there. I want to make sure we're not cross threading it. Because this is my heat tube that actuates the choke. So we want to make sure she's on there correctly. We don't want to cross thread it. It's going on pretty easy, so I'm guessing it's okay. Flows or not, that's number one. Then we've got fuel going in. Give her a couple of pumps. Fire away.
had to make a gasket. Just reminding me of a little valve drain noise. Not smoking at all. Not, not a drop of smoke. A puff of smoke? Yeah, that's it. A puff of smoke. He's running good. No more of that horrible box of rocks sound that he was making before. All I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that gauge over there with a filter. And that valve train noise is starting to settle down a little now. Now if the rain would let up, I'd take it for a drive. That may have to be reserved for another day. I'm going to go ahead and change these plugs to get rid of that, that skip, hopefully. And I'm going to have to support that alternator somehow because she is on my own. Oh, and I probably can't run it too long because she's got no fluids. So that might be a good idea to put fluid in it too. Go ahead and shut her off and call it a good day. Put the fluids in it. Woo! Change the plug. Support the alternator and go for a ride. Once again, I apologize for the rain. It's awful noisy, so I'm talking a little loud here, just so y'all can hear me. But, she's a run. She's a run good. Yeah, a little skip there, but we'll get rid of that with some gloves and we'll check the compression and everything, make sure that it's kosher deal. But I'm fixing to take this down the road, so the next video you see on this one is going to be driving her on down the road and giving her her first wash. And a lot of people like to wash. Wash? Wash you watch. <laughs> wash you wash. Good. Watch you wash your car. Well, she's got so much moss on her and stuff. I'm going to clean out the interior. We're going to make her pretty. Pretty as a gremlin can get. But I'm excited. I hope you're as excited as I am. Because I know I had a couple of subscribers that wrote to me and said, Man, that whole rock sound was scary. And it was. But that don't know if person came up that gun. Now you hurt yourself. The rain's getting worse. So I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, why not? You need to subscribe. Because I'm telling you what, I ain't going to give up. I'm going to keep on doing this. So if you like watching my videos, rock on up, please subscribe. If you already have, do the best. This is why I do it, for you subscribers. And as always, you got to remember the people who don't like my videos. There's just a few here and there. But if you don't like them, don't watch them.